Last Wednesday, signs of protest took center stage outside Portland City Hall. All in response to Mayor Ted Wheeler's proposed daytime camping ban. When the activists come, it changes sort of the tenure and tone uh, of, of chambers. What we didn't see was the written testimony, more than half of which was for the ban. Now, Commissioner Rene Gonzalez is looking to make changes to the ordinance. You know, I, I think it's long overdue. Um, Portlanders uh, have been demanding some uh, real changes on our streets, so I think it's a step in the right direction. He wants to see stronger rules around tents near schools and non-city run shelters, as well as ways to break up large tent encampments. So I think that's going to make it easier to clean up that sort of uh, eliminates some of the real opportunity for real criminal behavior to conjugate. Arguably the most controversial piece of this proposed camping ban is the enforcement of it. If a homeless person is told to move their tent three times, they could face fines or jail time. Though some commissioners say the likelihood of that happening is slim. Almost no one's going to jail over this. I think uh, the reality of what we're trying to do is get tents off the streets, and so this authorizes police and others to enforce. Some cities are looking at repurposing the jails to be treatment centers as well, because you kind of need some security when people go through that very difficult process of withdrawal. Commissioner Dan Ryan plans to vote yes on the ban, even though there's a lack of shelter in the city. We also have some people on the streets who say no to services. And so we need to get to the bottom of that. We need to provide services that they'll say yes to, and we need to stop enabling and just allowing people to do illegal things on the street. Housing Commissioner Carmen Rubio wasn't available to talk with us on camera Tuesday, but says in a statement that she plans to vote no on the ban, adding council is committed to not criminalizing people solely for being homeless and believes this ordinance crosses that line. She also wants to see more shelter sites before enacting a ban. There will be a second reading on the proposed camping ban on Wednesday, and then there will be time for public testimony on any changes made to the ban. And then council is hoping to vote. If it passes, it'll go into effect next month. Blair Best, KGW News.